right, in this video we're going to show the installation of the 12 volt rectifier on my 1969 electric glide. Here are the shop manual wiring diagrams and here is a simplified diagram that you can use as reference. We're going to install this 12 volt generator and there's going to be uh, five wires that come off of the engine and onto this rectifier and we're going to explain them right here. This one right here is for the battery, also the ignition, and also the um, the fuse. The second one would be the uh, generator armature and the top one is the field wire. So my bike has a um, cycle electric 12 volt high output generator um, and it quite it creates quite a bit of current with the stock fuse the um, the fuse breakers kept on blowing so what I did was install a 30 amp fuse behind the battery I don't show it in this video but um, that's where one of these wires go from and when you install these wires onto the regulator I like to do it with the regulator unattached so you can at least get to the wire and you can um, you can kind of uh, handle the wires a little bit uh, easier before you screw the wires down completely make sure that they are um, away from the exhaust pipe um, they will melt so uh, what I do is I put the bottom three on here first and um, I aim them away from the exhaust manifold and you can see that in this video One thing to note too, after you uh, get the regulator on to uh, to your bike and you set up the battery and you hook up the battery completely, you're going to need to flash the generator and I show that in a different video, but you will need to flash the generator um, so, the, um, so the polarity is correct on the armature so you will be able to generate uh, electricity to charge your battery.